Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm a student uh, in the Masters of Sustainable. Oh, I'm gonna have to start though. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. Yeah, you can make it up. It'll be fun. Hi, I'm Lucy. I am a Masters of Sustainable Energy student here at UQ. I'm here with Peter Ashworth, our Chair of Sustainable Energy Futures, uh, and we're here to answer some of your questions. Oh, goodness, Lucy, we've got some questions. <laughs> So can I ask you, why did you decide to study the Master of Sustainable Energy? So I guess I was at a point um, in my career where I had had um, some great uh, technical engineering um, experience and I really um, was driven to uh, learn more about the Sustainable Energy Challenge. I um, heard a lot about it in the media and had some um, you know, personal interest in that sector. Um, so I, I made the decision to further my qualifications with a master's degree and I felt that the Sustainable Engineering uh, Masters at UQ was um, a great choice for me. All right, Peter, so who should study the Master of Sustainable Energy? It's a good question because it's a very interdisciplinary program, as you know. We do have lots of engineers, but we also have people with a background in finance, um, in law, environmental management, some journalism and communication. So there's been a whole range of different people that have come, also from across the world, which is lovely. We both have a mix of domestic and um, international students. And the majority of them have had some experience working in the energy sector or working somewhere which they bring uh, to the program, I suppose, which makes it really interesting in that way. But that prior experience isn't necessarily um, obligatory. If there's young emerging students that are interested that have completed their undergraduate, they're also welcome to apply. I think the thing to note about the way that we deliver the masters is, is in week intensive blocks. And so that's quite different from the normal university, which I think works quite well for those people that are working part time. We're also international students. So the week is normally they would come Monday to Friday um, from nine to five, we'd have an industry uh, dinner one night. And through that week, students would have to um, do a presentation as part of a group. So we really focus on building a cohort as part of the, the, the learning process, I guess. Okay, next question. So thinking about the intensive, how do you find the intensive week as a student? Yeah, sure. Um, the intensive week, as a part-time student particularly, really suits me. Um, it means that I can switch off from my um, nine to five job and really focus 100% um, on the um, content being delivered and really engage fully in the program during that intensive week. Um, I guess the other benefit is um, sitting in the room with the other students and being able to engage in those small group discussions, um, also with the lecturer. Um, I find that that way that um, content is delivered is um, really, you know, really um, engaging and um, best way for me to, um, to fit it around the rest of my life as well. All right, Peter, are there any field trips in this program? Yes, I think that's actually one of the extra attractions. You know, in, on top of the industry networking dinners, we do try to incorporate. So uh, students starting in February, the first thing we do is take the whole cohort up to Gladstone because Gladstone in Queensland is an energy intensive city. We've also now been able to incorporate a trip out to Heron Island, which is partly where UQ has a research station and there's a fantastic microgrid there. So all the students get to see that and how it operates. We also have a little side trip where they do a bit of scuba diving and things, which is rather neat too. So it's a really nice way. I think we go to Curtis Island and see the intensive gas industry there and have um, someone local talk one night as well. So that's one of the field trips. There are other smaller field trips, side trips, where we might go out to Warwick um, to have a look at what's, what's sort of what we're doing there as part of our whole living laboratory of energy supply. We're just about to launch the 64 megawatt solar farm, so there's a plan to incorporate that. And in the second semester, take the students to the other side of the gas to go out into the Surat Basin, Western Downs area of Queensland to look more about those local communities and how gas and agriculture is being integrated. So yeah, there are you know a, a range of different field trips, depending on the topic that's being studied. Mm -hmm. uh, so what career opportunities are there? It's a great question. I think energy is so topical at the moment. I mean, I started researching energy 15 years ago, but what we're seeing is for, the good thing I think is all of the students that 
I graduate from the MSC are being employed in the energy industry in the areas that they would like to. So some are already working within, you know, jobs within government, within private industry, and sometimes they're really just taking on this course to get some more information and maybe step up a bit. Others are actually using it to pivot, you know, out of one part of the energy industry to another. So when I look at you know, past students, some have gone back to their country and set up their own private consulting business here in Australia also. Or for one example, I can think of one of the students went back to Chile and within his gas, traditionally gas organisation is now heading up a renewable section there. So it's really broad. And part of what we do when we're working with the students while they're choosing their research thesis is to really help them think about where that will take them for the career opportunities afterwards. So very broad, but I think anyone studying energy, there's lots of jobs out there, as you know. Mm, definitely, mm. yeah. Um, a question for you. Why did you choose the University of Queensland? All right, um, for me, it was, it was an easy choice um, living in Brisbane. Um, UQ, I would always known as um, a very um, prestigious organisation and for me the um, the master's program at UQ really stood out as a really um, you know exciting program one with a great reputation um, I guess also you can't go past the campus here um, at St Lucia is really amazing it's um, a really I feel um, so blessed to be able to come here um, on the intensive weeks and study and come and sit by the beautiful lakes and the beautiful gardens here so uh, it was yeah an easy choice for me coming to UQ. And I guess we're lucky because with being research and education we have a strong links to industry and mm. researchers that are really actively progressing sort of the leading things around energy so mm -hmm. it's great to be able to access them and bring them into the program. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to the end this is my last question for you what does the future of this industry look like? It's evolving you know across the world countries are trying to transition to a low carbon energy and we know it's not easy. We've got you know, just approximately one billion without access to energy. We've got all those people still cooking on biomass, which has huge health effects. And we know from the sustainable development goals that energy can help to revolutionise education, health, clean water, all of these things. So for me, what I've seen when I sort of stumbled into energy through sustainability many years ago is there's just so many opportunities whether it's in new technology, whether it's in deploying projects on the ground, whether it's policy or new regulations, there's so many different things emerging. And I think that's what makes an exciting field to be a part of because there's lots of opportunities and also to make a difference. You know, it is one of these wicked challenges that we're trying to solve. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that is the future, how we transition, how do we, you know, manage to mitigate carbon dioxide emissions, but still providing energy that's affordable and reliable.